Ninja's great to start. Obviously, you can see camo, so up to 24. I mean, up to 27 works perfectly. Does plenty of damage, and if you're not using a hero that does damage straight away, or does much damage straight away, can be a great unit to use just to clear the first few rounds. But not really helpful overall in chimps. So, more helpful in ABR and stuff like that. Top of B. I don't like putting them top of B, but... Top of B. Obin S tier, probably the best unit. One of the best, yeah, best attacking unit you can use. I mean, with the... Actually, <laughs> by himself... Yeah. Um, but with the Druid strategy and just helping any magic units in general, I like to use Wizard and stuff. Amazing. Big old Pat. Pat's very good in champs. Lack of damage. Takes out lots of Moabs though. Probably put him at bottom of A+. plus. If you use Pat. If you don't use Pat, probably learn about Pat. But not brilliant in the rest of the game. But does come into its element in champs. Now we have Quincy. I use Quincy in my tutorials because it's the first hero you get. The one that people just have. And thus, probably not amazing really in damage. Can take out a lot of um a lot of you like small units with its abilities, but does a decent amount of mob damage. It has a couple things that make it do like three times more mob damage, but not brilliant. But I don't think a damaging hero is always one of the best units. Sniper Monkey is just a solid unit, I'm not gonna lie. Probably not A plus. That's a good amount of mob damage, good amount of ceramic damage, good amount of... It can, you know, stop DDTs. Just slow them down. It's not amazing. It's probably around the... It's one of these because it just helps you deal with the rest of things. Probably just above... Nah, just below mortar. There we go. Pack, if you're going for... um. Bottom path all the way. The tags that never leave. That's the best way you're going to use it. But really in chimps and any like thing like that. You shouldn't be using these. You don't need them. You shouldn't need them. Yes if you let a couple things through. But that's the problem is. If you're letting a couple things through. It's not a very good strategy in the first place. Now is it bad? No. And will it be in C? No. It'll be top of, top of B. But you shouldn't really be using it. Sergeant, whatever his name is, no one cares. You're quite trash. Probably better than Gwendolyn though, Sita. Amazing Moab damage. Also can make camos and leads disappear. Probably an A+. For any map that uses water, very useful. Put him just below Alk. Super Monkey, really you're going to go bottom path, just all the way to Dark dark Monkey, I mean, is it Dark Monkey? Uh, 203. Uh, it stops ceramics in their place, does good amount of mob damage as well, costs about 12k. Not too bad, if you go any other path it's not great, but you obviously still can, does plenty of damage. But quite an expensive tower to use. And I think that is one of the things you can't really do in chimps. So maybe there's better alternatives. We're going to put an A tier anyway. Because there's so much damage. Um, I don't know where. Better than Azili? Probably better than Quincy as well. Just above Quincy. Actually, so you already know if you watch my things, this is where it's going. Attack zone is one of the most damaging and cheap. They made it cheaper. Admittedly, now you need to use a MIB. If this was a round 80, like half cash, oh my god, this wouldn't even be a question because you don't need MIB because, I mean, you don't have to fight DDTs. But so much damage, probably the best unit you can get if there's a loop. If there's not a loop, not great. Even if there's a turn though, you can put it in the corner and it still works pretty good. 
um village in so many strategies you need a village which is the only reason why it has to be an Esther. I'm gonna probably have to put it at the bottom just because I don't want to put it at the top but tell me a mib uh, tell me a chimp strategy that doesn't use I mean you probably can tell me a chimp strategy that doesn't use a village but Tell me a good chimp strategy or one that I use. Open Druid uses um, village. My ones sometimes use two. Like, when you can't pop, let's say, a lead, or you can't pop a camo, you just, what, what do you think? You think village. That has to be village. Um, and finally, well, Finally, out of the ones that we can see, Benji. Now we we love Benji. Heart scout for Benji. Benji, I mean, hey Benji! Oh my god, I'm cracked. Wizard monkey, arcane spike, prince of darkness, and I mean now technically middle path, but you don't really go three. That's a bit of fire damage. Amazing unit. Probably. Probably just below ice. But. And that is everything. For um these units you can see. But we need to go out with some heroes that aren't on her. Etienne. Helps everything see camo. Very good. Probably just a bit above. Hat. So I'm just going to say A+. Plus. I'm not going to say where because I can't think that much about it. But A+. Plus. Sorda. S tier. Probably near Oban. Very good. Um, I know we have Sai. We have Admiral Brickwell. We have Dartling Gunner. Right, let's go Sai. Very good at taking out... Can take out Moe's actually late game, but doesn't level up quick enough. I don't think you would get to level uh, uh, level 20, especially on a beginner map. Maybe a later map you might be able to, but beginner map, no. So, pff, probably A tier Psy. Brickwell D tier. Maybe C tier. Um, Dartling Gunner. Middle path useful. Probably A tier. Um, other people. I'm missing someone. I know I am. Apparently they aren't very important. Well, that's going to conclude it for my tier list then. This is going to be split into two parts as we're 18 minutes on the recording. So two nine minute videos. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any gripes with my tier list on... BCD6 chimps tier list. Tell me in the comments. And I'll explain to you why you're wrong. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.